Hey guys, thanks for your interest in my new video. A few months ago I read the announcement that Monster Adapter, a Chinese company, would be releasing a new adapter. This would allow the use of hundreds of Nikkor AF lenses on Sony E-mount. In addition to AF-S lenses, for which Monster Adapter already offers a product, screw mount lenses will also be supported. I had already bought a product from Monster Adapter some time ago. Without any problems, I modified the Sony LAEA4 adapter for use without the partially transparent mirror and other advantages. In order for this to work, the main board of the original Sony LAEA4 must be replaced by one from Monster Adapter. So you get a modified LAEA4 or adapter for the use with Minolta or Konica screw-driven A-mount lenses and some SSM lenses. Of course I ordered the new product form Monster Adapter, the LAFE2, as soon as it was available. And then the FedEx courier rang. I have one request for you. If you like the video, please support my work with a like and subscribe to my channel. That would make me very happy, thank you very much. Monster Adapter already offers the possibility to use Nikon AFS lenses with autofocus on the Sony E mount with the LAFE1 adapter. However, the LAFE2 now allows for the use of a large number of screw driven lenses with autofocus. Previously, these lenses had to be manually focused on the LAFE1. Both adapters share the feature that all manually focusing Nikkor lenses from the analog era can be used, as long as they fit mechanically, on the adapter. The supplied back cover is very tight. Monster Adapter writes about its new product. Innovative F-mount lens adapter with built-in aperture and autofocus motor. AF capable with Nikkor AF, AFD, AFG, AFI, AFS and AFP lenses. Automatic detection and support of both electromagnetic and mechanically controlled aperture. G driver that enables fast and powerful autofocus. Supports human and animal autofocus if the body is suitable. Supports high speed continuous shooting at up to 10 frames per second if the body is suitable. Supports the VR function of the lens. Supports F mount teleconverter. Easy firmware update by simply connecting the camera body and computer with a USB cable. The magic of the built-in focus motor. Thanks to the built-in focus motor, the LAFE2 can control both Nikkor screw-driven lenses or in-lens motor-driven Nikkor lenses. Lens support. Popular lenses such as the AF 28mm f 1.4D, AF 85mm f 1.4D, AF 105mm f 2.0 DC, AF 135mm f 2.0 DC, AF zoom micro 70 to 180mm 4.5 to 5.6D and more are supported. With firmware 1 about 200 lenses are supported at the beginning. Improved hardware design. The switches on the LAFE2 have been redesigned to make operation easier and more ergonomic. Extended focus point coverage. Focus point coverage has been extended to almost the entire image area, giving you more freedom in framing. Autofocus tracking of human and animal eyes. AF lenses can now also track the eyes of people and pets, so that the subject looks even more brilliant in the photos. Auto-focus and automatic exposure programs. With the LAFE2, F-mount lenses can continuously perform autofocus and metering when shooting at a maximum of 10 frames per second, camera support required, and focusing accuracy is significantly improved in high-speed AFC mode. Shooting with stabilization. The VR function of the lenses can be activated by simply pressing the shutter release button halfway. For lenses without VR function, the housing automatically detects the focal length and activates the 5-axis anti-shake stabilization. G-Driver Support G-Driver is Monster Adapter's AF driver algorithm that enables faster and more precise autofocus on available cameras. Based on Monster Adapter's own tests, the firmware containing the G-Driver can shorten the focusing time by an average of 25% and a maximum of 60% compared to the firmware without G-Driver. So much for the theory. Now I'll show you how different lenses behave when connected to the Sony A7R4 using the adapter. Does it live up to its promise? First, I tested the autofocus performance of my favorite standard lens, the 2.835 to 70 mm But what happened? The autofocus never hit the target. Even turning the camera on and off several times, removing the battery, or removing and reattaching the adapter or lens made no difference. 
I was horrified. The camera did not focus with the AFS or AFC autofocus modes or with different AF points. Exposure metering, aperture control, and lens data, lens used, aperture, shutter speed, transfer to the captured image worked perfectly. As you can see, the autofocus sometimes didn't react at all. The second lens I wanted to test is the little brother of the 2.8 zooms. Nikkor AF 3.5 to 4.5 to 70 mm According to the homepage, this is also fully supported. I was reassured. The adapter seems to work, because the autofocus and the other functions I just mentioned work perfectly. However, the autofocus performance is only satisfactory. The speed never reaches the level of a Nikon F5, for example. Also, the autofocus does not always hit the subject directly and sometimes has to follow up. I also tested various autofocus field settings and the AFS and AFC functions with this lens. For architecture, landscape and general photography, I found the autofocus to be fast and precise enough. Of course, further firmware updates could increase the speed and accuracy even further. The limiting factor here remains the screw drive of the lenses. The third lens tested is the 3.5 to 4.535 to 135 mm N, which I really like to use, especially when I only want to take one lens with me. As far as the test results are concerned, the same applies as for the 3.5 to 4.535 to 70 mm. According to the homepage, this lens is also fully supported. However, its predecessor, a rotating zoom version, is not officially supported. The AF speed is more on the leisurely side. The accuracy is very good, even if you sometimes have to refocus a little. I would consider landscape and architectural photography to be the main area of application with the existing firmware version 1, and portrait photography with gradation. The fourth lens used was the Nikkor AF 1.850 mm. It makes a very good impression. The autofocus is the fastest and most reliable of the lenses tested so far. Exposure metering, the aperture function and the transfer of lens data, lens used, aperture, shutter speed, to the captured image worked perfectly. Unrestricted use with firmware version 1.
My dream lens from analog days. The Nikkor 2.880-200 mm as a non-D push and pull zoom. The first 2.880-200 mm autofocus lens is unfortunately not supported. And this is clearly visible. The autofocus is not accurate in any situation or setting, no matter if AFS, AFC or whatever AF points are selected. Light metering works, the aperture responds. But I would have been interested in autofocus, especially at this focal length and speed. Based on my experience with the Monster Adapter, I contacted the company. They were very interested in the problems I described and wanted to investigate the malfunction of the 2.835 to 70 mm. They also held out the prospect of possible support for the 2.880 to 200 mm tested here and later firmware versions. I was also assured that I would receive a replacement adapter and be able to use it to verify my results. Exemplary. I also tested two lenses from other manufacturers, both without any real success. Exposure metering works with both, and the aperture responds. It was the Sigma 3. 5 18ths of a millimeter, I think it is the first version of the lens. I got it as a gift a few years ago. The autofocus doesn't work on the adapter and the Sony A7R4, but the aperture and the exposure control do. I still think it's a good lens for taking photos, because at this focal length the lack of autofocus doesn't really matter. A Tokina at X4.5 to 5.680 to 400 mm rotary zoom offered good autofocus performance only up to about 200 mm. Exposure metering had some dropouts, but these could be corrected by switching the camera off and on. My conclusion is mixed. I only tested screw mount lenses, which is what the adapter was primarily designed for. The LA-FA1 will remain in the program and I would recommend it to potential buyers who are not interested in screw mount lenses. You may have other experiences with the adapter. Feel free to post them in the comments. I also think that future firmware updates will bring us some improvements. And Monster Adapter is known for its excellent firmware policy. I will test more lenses soon and share the results with you. Thanks for your time, stay healthy and see you in the next video.